What's up everyone? It's Sal. I'm here. I'm back at the office. I'm just sitting here and I'm hungry. I got leftovers. I already warmed them up. You know what I don't have? I don't have a fork. But what I do have is a 3D printer. I'm gonna 3D print myself a fork. It shouldn't take too long. Here's my Ender 3 Pro 3D printer. I love this thing. So what you do is you come over here, flick the little power switch on, get that nice blue light. All right, you're gonna wanna get all this gunk here off. Don't want that on there. I probably have to level this thing before I go ahead and get all crazy using it. I'm not going to. I'm kind of feeling lazy and I'm just, I'm hungry. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna do prepare, prepare. And then we're gonna do preheat PLA because that's what we're working with. And now it's gonna preheat the bed and the extruder. The thing down here, that thing. That actually spits out the, the filament. Now we have a little predicament here because the filament, for some reason, in this cold temperature, it only happens with this filament, it cracks. I don't know if you can see that. See, it just broke easy in my hand. It just snaps off. It's not supposed to do that. So what we gotta do is, when it preheats, start the print, get a new strand, find where the end is, it's right there. And we're gonna have to tilt. We're gonna have to take this and feed it through this piece, which we also 3D printed for it, and then into this piece, which we also 3D printed for it. I kind of broke it, so I need to I need to reprint this piece right here. But what this does is now feeds through here. I think this is called, I'm trying to look at the camera. I think this is called a stepper motor in here. And so what this does is it feeds the filament through this white tube and down into here through the extruder. I think it's called an extruder tip. As you can see, I 3D printed a couple other parts like something there. Uh, I 3D printed this to hold my tools. It's like my one fun hobby. But on days like today, this thing, it's gonna come in real handy for lunch because I need a fork and I need it now. So let's go over to the computer. Let's go ahead and check out Thingiverse and then what we're gonna do is find the file that we need for a fork uh, from last time that I tried to do this but I didn't have my memory card because I'm a dinghy. I got the 1980s tech over here, still works. Right, let's try to find ourselves a file. So we're over here now on the old trusty laptop. Do a little bit of searching, let's go over to Thingiverse. Let's look up fork. So let's find a flat fork. Like this is all I really need. Maybe I try to find a spork. I don't want it to take too long because I'm kind of hungry. See, boom, something like this. That's a nice flat spork knife. It's got all I could need. Now we come over here, we click download file. So you go over to files and then boom, there it is. Open it, look, it's a spork. We go over to Ultimaker Cura, which is the slicer. Go over here and we're gonna click, look, the file's already right there. Flat spork knife, it's gonna upload. I'm not really worried about how pretty this thing is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. The layer height's already set at four and the infill set at 20. It doesn't need to be crazy because this really is just a fork for me to eat my lunch with. And it's already getting cold, which is fine. It's room temperature I'll live. We don't need supports. It's flat. If you can see, it's a, it's a flat fork. It prints flat. If we slice it at full size, it's gonna take 25 minutes. I'm hungry. I don't really wanna wait 25 minutes. So what I'll do is I can go to the scaling option. I want it to be 50%. So that'll be 50% the size. Will that be too small? I guess we're gonna find out. 14 minutes, we can hang. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our USB. We're gonna plug it into our computer. And then we're gonna take this, mic, this little chip insert it into here boom the chip is in as you can see that's flashing we're good to go i'm gonna do save to removable disk file saved eject now that ejects it our file safe let's take this the ender 3 pro has two ports you put the, the chip in upside down you'll hear a little click it's in there now it's a little dirty don't mind so now what we got to do is we have to come over here our numbers are 210 for the nozzle, 60 for the bed. It's ready, so all we have to do now the chip's in, we go over here. See, sometimes it says no TF card, and even when you try to refresh, it doesn't work. That's the only downfall I have about this printer. It happens to me all the time, so then I gotta go back to the info screen. I gotta turn the printer off, even though I was just heated it up. And then I have to go back here. It only happens sometimes. I'm sure there's a sequence that I'm missing, but then I have to go back to here, print from TF, and there's flat spork knife. We go to flat spork knife, click print, is go over to control now, 
and put the temperature of the nozzle back up because for some reason it also doesn't work. If you restart it, the nozzle won't heat up unless the bed heats up. Oh, oh we're breaking things. It's, the bed's gonna move, it's gonna do a line to get the extruder feeding, so this is gonna start moving. It moves very slow. So you gotta keep applying pressure until it's all the way fed through. You can also see it usually here if it's feeding through because it'll start making, oh wow, this is making a really big fork. See how long it takes? Because it's making that little base layer. I have somehow made it through with never servicing this 3D printer. I know that's bad to say, but it was such a cheap printer. I honestly just wanted to push it to its limits. I've gotten a lot of prints out of it. It's been a really reliable printer. And I'm sure what's been on everyone's mind is couldn't I have just gone to the grocery store, gotten a set of plastic forks or something? The answer is probably. You should never touch your print while it's printing, but I'm kind of a crazy person. So this should take about 15 minutes. I'm gonna set this up and you guys can just watch it print. Zoom in there for you. Now, a lot of people tell me they've never seen like how 3D printers work. It's really interesting. So think of a hot glue gun and this part right here, that part that's uh, actually laying down the filament is like the tip of the hot glue gun. And this filament is like the glue stick. Lays down layers starting from a flat surface and builds its way up. And so yeah, we're making good progress here with our spork. You can see right there, 46% done in six minutes. We just gotta have some patience. The food's probably getting cold. I wanted to take some time real quick to thank my favorite local restaurant, La Esquina Guatemalteca. Uh, I believe it's the corner in Spanish. They're a little corner building over in Jupiter off Hibiscus. By far one of the best restaurants I've ever been to. Uh, that's what I'm making this fork for because I didn't have a fork, had to eat it, brought it to the office. You know, it was my leftovers from yesterday. And I'm a frequent Taco Tuesday type of guy. So we go there all the time for Taco Tuesday, me and all my friends and uh, you know, the whole gang. And, if you're watching these videos, you're part of a gang. It's called the SMO gang. You're part of, the, you're part of our gang. You are, one, you are one with us. We are friends. So just know that, you know? You're, you're part of a culture, you're part of a gang. You're gonna watch this whole place evolve. You know, I just had to make this quick video because I was like, you know, I need some content and also I need a fork for my food. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna cut our toes off. We're gonna use this, which fits in here, but never wants to come out. But, there we go. 3D printer. So now what you do is you come over here to the magnetic bed, you take this little scrapey boy, and give it a little, give it a little pry. Give it a little pry up here. It's hard doing this with one hand. Sometimes if you can just get up under a section, you can do one of these numbers, kind of work your way through, and then bam, you got a little spork spoon. I found, so then sometimes what you gotta do is you gotta look, there might be these little fine hairs that you can probably see. You're just gonna wanna get rid of those, you don't really wanna eat plastic. Other than that, this is pretty safety. It's a little unflexible, or I mean, it's a little flexible, not really rigid. And now we come over here to the best part, the whole reason we're here, these freaking leftovers. Oh, and we got a guest visitor. It's your boy, Joseph. Still can't see you. Hey, hey. What's up, Joe? I was just telling the vlog. Oh, dude, you, pick, you got me a hair, hair pick. Dude. No, no, don't use it, dude. That's my fork, dude. Oh, so yo, what I was up, just dude? telling the vlog is, uh, you know, we're 3D printing a fork out here. It's a I'm quality hungry, fork. Because I'm hungry. It picks up lots of food. It picks up lots of food, big foods. Big foods. So, mm. Now this. Do you have a chip in it? The chips are kind of soft because I microwaved them. Ooh. We got. Well. And so on that note, we end the vlog. Give me this fork. And shout out to Laskina for the food. Everybody stay well. See you in another video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, hey, also, P.S. Make sure to like and subscribe on these videos. We're trying to get serious on them. We're trying to make more content for you. We got this new cool space. So, y'all have a beautiful day. Much love. Peace out.